All right, today I'm fishing with deer liver. My buddy, he feeds his family with deer meat. So basically he's given me some of his family's food to fish with for you guys to watch. So I'm gonna ask this early on in the video, hit that thumbs up if you support my buddy feeding his growing family with deer meat. He just had another kid, so he's up to four kids now. And deer meat is definitely more healthy than the catfish that I'm gonna to catch today because of all the coal ash that's gone into this waterway. So I'm going to get this on the hook and try to catch a fish. And I tell you what, it's really windy today, which will affect the audio of the video, but I'm not going to let that stop me from fishing. Now deer liver is more tough than chicken liver, so it stays on the hook really, really well. I would go as far and say that it's better to use than chicken liver. Deer cause more property damage than any other animal in North America. So support your local hunter. Now the water is up, which is good. It's kind of on a flood stage right now because we've got a lot of rain lately. And they are just now starting to drop the lakes to get them to winter level. So let's see what happens. Oh. That was the first bite. Didn't hook up. This line's in the tree. Oh, maybe it's still there. Yep. And stuck in the tree. There we go. Out of the tree. Cool. Little one. Baby channel cat. I gotta be careful when grabbing this guy. Ow. Sharp, sharp, sharp. <laughs> this is what you get when you fish with liver. Small fish. But hey, I take them. This guy's too small to even fillet, although I'd never eat any of the catfish out of here. Cool. Successfully caught a fish on deer liver. Now let's see if I can catch some more. Try to let this guy go here. There he goes. He actually did get me a little bit on the hand when I first tried to grab him. When they're that small, their fins are sharp. Got another small piece. Windy, windy, windy. I'm locking down my reels because I'm using circle hooks. So I want the fish to hook themselves. And I forgot to bring ice. So I'm just keeping it in my cooler for now, but eventually that's gonna go bad and I'm not gonna to wanna to use it. I've tried old rotten liver before, chicken liver. And I mean, it must've scared away all the fish, including myself. I will never use rotten chicken liver ever again. Oh, already another bite. Got 
Got him. Whoa. A little bit bigger this time. A little bit more wind. This one's definitely a little bit bigger. <laughs> Not bad. Another channel cat, a little bit bigger. If this was clean water, this would be a good fillet size. Channel catfish. Cool, that was fast. They must be like right there. There's kind of a edge right there, kind of a channel edge. Ow, ow, ow. Wow, got me pretty good. <laughs> He's got a strong jaw. Anyway, there's kind of a channel edge there, and I'm talking you're going from two feet to four foot of water. But it's pretty much, you know, steep like this. And maybe they're along that channel edge. I'll let this guy go. And I totally forgot to hit record when I released that fish. Oops. Anyway. I gotta keep my bait. See if I can rehook it. That goes to show how tough this deer liver is. There we go. Big tree floating down the creek here. Definitely don't want to get my line in that. Of course, that means I'm going to get my line in this tree. It should be okay. I've upgraded the 30 pound braid on both of these for carp fishing. I had 15 pound braid and it kept breaking on me when I was fighting carp. Now I'll be able to catch a big carp or maybe even a big flathead someday. If a flathead ever decides to eat the smaller baits I use with these rods and reels. I've heard of people catching flatheads on smaller baits like, you know, chicken liver and stuff. I have yet to actually do something like that. Let's see if I can catch a couple more. That floating tree is about to go over my other line. I'm going to reel it in, check it, and then cast it out more towards the channel. It may already be over my line. Just a big stick or tree or something just floating in the water. Liver still on the hook. Boy, is it windy. anything fighting back. <laughs> this in the tree is pretty good. Should be fine. Now I was worried about the walnut tree at this spot. I thought walnuts put some kind of poison or something in the water that scared fish away. And I'm surprised one hasn't hit the camera yet. Or bonked me on the head. 
Let me know in the comments below, do walnut trees scare away fish when they drop walnuts in the water? Does it release some kind of chemical? And now that big tree or tree branch has moved and it's coming back into my line. It started out over there, went over there, now it's curved back and coming right back at me. The life of a fisherman. There's the stick right there. It finally floated all the way over here. Thankfully it missed my lines. I don't know if it's wind or if it's a fish. My line has gone slack. Been a while since the last fish. Ah. And they stole my bait. I just got a call. I got some fresh bait waiting on me for the boat. However, I'm going to maybe give this 30 more minutes, see if I can catch another fish before I finally close the video. So let's get some bait on this and get it back out. I'm going to put a really small piece out. Huh. Still in the tree. I do have another packet of liver that's in my freezer right now that I might try on another day. Maybe try at a different lake or something. I don't know yet. If anything, it's working. <laughs> Where'd that go? <laughs> Walnut hit the camera. Oh, windy, windy. I think I've said that a dozen times on the video. I think I'm going to give this 10 more minutes. Can't tell if it's wind or if it's fish messing with this rod. I'm going to try reeling down. Nope. Uh oh. Oh no. Huh. Right at the bank. Broke my line right at the bank. I really didn't want to get my shoes too wet walking out there to get my hook, but that's okay. I think it's time to call it. I've successfully caught channel catfish on deer liver again. If you check out the i card above, I have fished with deer liver in the past before and caught channel catfish. And like I said earlier, I still have more deer liver frozen in my fridge, my freezer, and I have a big deer heart. So I may take those out sometime in the future. Now, as always, I want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch this video. I really, really appreciate it. And one of the things I really need to do in the future is to get some kind of wind muff for the GoPro for days like this. Or get another camera like what I had in the past with an external mic that has the dead cat on it. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.